I think that humanity faces two alternatives, and I think we face them relatively quickly. And those alternatives are civilization or barbarism. I think that global warming, uh, power of, of global capital, I think are leading the world to, to destruction. And then on the other hand, I look and I and I when I when I go to my immigrant rights group meetings, and I look around the room and I see all of, all the people you know some folks have just come off of work wearing you know McDonald's uniforms or they've just been cleaning hotel rooms and you know there's their kids are screwing around coloring with crayons. And, being noisy and half the conversations in Spanish and half the conversations in English and you know I look around that room and I'm like these people are, can do it these people these if anyone can save us from from the barbarism that the powers that be want to hurl us into it's this room full of you know ordinary working class folks and uh, I've got three kids and uh, I have to be optimistic I have to believe that that there's hope. And, and, you know, I think I think one of the one of the things you find in common about you know most anarchists I think is that is that we love humanity. We love human beings and, and how interesting human beings are and how screwed up and wonderful and uh, humanity is and, <laughs> and god damn it I want human beings to live and be around for a while and I want the rest of or species to live and be around for a while. And uh, so uh, I think we're facing a colossal struggle. And I don't know if we're going to win, but, uh, but, but damn it, if I'm going to roll over and let them, and let them destroy this world and destroy my, my, my future and my family, then I'll fucking fight.